Ooh. Hi, I'm Bonnie. This is a quick flow. Um, yeah, try some things out. Props for today are just a blanket or towel uh, to sit on, lift your hips and maybe to protect your knees, give some extra padding. And as always, if you'd like some blocks or water bottle to use as a block, um, feel free to integrate those as well as um, a strap or wall or chair, anything that you need to support you or that you've found helpful in the past. Um, I am going to time this just to make sure that I respect your time. We'll stay over here. And we'll start in a tall, comfortable seat. Really landing on the mat, letting your body arrive here and focus in on what it's doing right now. Letting your mind draw in on your breath. Hands can come to chest and belly or can be at heart center. Really following your breath here. And as you breathe, seeing if you can take longer, slower inhales and softer exhales. Really adding length to both your inhale and your exhale. We'll take three breaths together here. First, exhaling out all the air you have. Then inhale deep. Exhale, release. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, let it out. One more deep inhale. And deep exhale. Nice, taking a moment to bring movement back into your body. Landing with your hands, fingertips alongside your hip. We'll add some movement together here. Inhale, both arms up and overhead, gaze up towards the ceiling, exhale, sweeping your arms down. Just tickling the earth gently here, inhale, reach. Exhale, gently lower. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower. Change it up this time, inhale, reaching forward to come up. Exhale, lowering down, hands out in front. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower. One more, just like this. Inhale, reach forward to come up. And exhale, releasing your hands down into your lap. However you'd like, make your way into a tabletop either rolling over your knees or like me shifting to the side. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, spreading through your fingertips. Crown of head reaches forward as your tailbone reaches back for a neutral spine. Inhale, lower your belly button, chest shines forward, gazes forward, tailbone lifts for cow. Exhale, pushing the earth away, belly button into your spine, arching your back for cat, gaze between your knees. Inhale for cow, chest forward, shoulder blades together on your back. Exhale for cat, shoulder blades separate on your back. Inhale, cow. And exhale for cat. 
Nice, one more just like this. Inhale for cow, belly button down. Exhale for cat, arching into your spine. Nice, taking a few of these at your own pace or adding in some organic movement, whatever is calling to you today. You can even pause here in a child's pose. Nice. From your tabletop, curl your toes under and lift your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Pressing into your finger pads, pushing the earth away, lifting your hips, your tailbone up and back behind you, lifting your heels away from the earth and bending into your knees. Or maybe you take some movement, walking it out for a moment. Maybe you shake your head yes or shake your head no. And then coming to stillness here, inhale and exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale, walk your feet up to meet your hands for forward fold Uttanasana. Pausing here for a moment, maybe taking movement or maybe taking an arm variation. If you've taken an arm variation, releasing your hands down towards the earth in front of you, inhale, halfway lift, shoulder blades together on your back as the crown of your head reaches forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way out to come up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms out to come up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, dive down, Uttanasana. Bring your fingertips to the earth, step your left foot way back to the back of the mat, lowering your left knee down. Inhale, both arms up and overhead, Anjaneyasana. Taking a moment to move here, shifting forward and back. Maybe adjusting your stance as you need. Nice. From here, planting your hands to frame that front foot, curl your left toes under, lift up off of that left knee and step your right foot back to meet at high plank. Inhaling here, exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, drawing your chest forward, shoulder blades together on your back, cobra or up dog. And exhale, curl your toes under and shift your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Nice, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. Nice, inhaling here one last time. And exhale, gaze forward, step your left foot up between your hands, lowering your right knee down. Inhale, both arms up and overhead. Anjaneyasana. And once again, pausing to shift forward and back just for a moment. Arms are reaching up towards the ceiling, not relaxed, but really as if you're trying to reach there, pull your ribs off of your hips. Eh, that sounded a little bit aggressive. Lifting your ribs away from your hips, less aggressive. As you're ready, release your hands down to frame that front foot, curl your right toes under, lift up off of that right knee and step right foot up to meet your left forward fold. Inhale, half to left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall, sweeping your arms all the way out to come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way out to come up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. From your forward fold, plant both hands, step both feet way back to the back of the mat. High plank, shoulders over wrists. Maybe your knees come down to the earth here. Inhale, exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. 
inhale, draw your chest forward to come up, shoulder blades together on your back for cobra or up dog. Exhale, curl your toes under and shift your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Nice, pausing here, maybe adjusting your pants. I feel like I always have to do that once I get to a downward facing dog. Nice. And if at any point during this practice, you need a pause, you're welcome to lower your knees down, shift your hips back and lower yourself towards the floor for a child's pose. And then just rejoin us when you're ready. So pressing into your hands, drawing yourself up if you followed me into child's pose. And we'll flow from here. Inhale, your right leg high up behind you, three-legged down dog. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose to plant your foot between your hands. Lowering that left knee down. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Anjaneyasana. We've been here before. Inhale. And exhale. Curl those toe, left toes under. Lift up off of that left knee. And sweep your arms forward, down, and back. Palms alongside your hips facing the earth. Torso leaning forward so that there's a line from your heel through your head. Front knee stays bent. Nice, for airplane lunge, from your airplane lunge, sweep your arms forward to continue that line from your heel all the way through the top of your head, all the way through your arms. Nice, pausing here for an inhale and an exhale. One more inhale here, reaching through your fingertips. Exhale, spin your left heel down to the mat, opening yourself up to a warrior two. So left arm reaching back, right arm reaching forward. Torso like you're standing tall while your legs maintain a nice lunge. Pressing through the full sole of your right foot and pressing a little extra into that pinky toe side edge of your left to draw your kneecap up your left thigh. Shoulder blades relaxing down your back. Nice. holding here, maybe surfing here a little bit. I've been enjoying this a lot recently. Just kind of shifting my hips side to side, shifting forward and back a little bit, like really just finding where my, where your center is, where you can feel strength and sturdy in this pose. Maybe inching that right knee out to the right just a little bit. Nice. As you're ready, spin your hands down to frame that front foot coming up off of your left heel. Step right foot back to meet your left. High plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, draw your chest forward to come up. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, curl your toes under and shift your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. I'm going to turn to show you the other side. You stay right where you are. <laughs> Inhaling and exhaling. Nice. Inhale your left leg high up behind you, three legged down dog. Exhale, draw your left knee towards your nose to plant your left foot between your hands, lowering your right knee down. Inhale, both arms up and overhead. Anjaneyasana. We've been here. Pressing down into the earth as you reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Curl your right toes under, lift up off of that right knee as you sweep your hands forward, down and back, palms alongside your hips. For a nice airplane lunge, so front knee stays bent, back knee stays straight, lifting up out of that right heel. Nice. From here, sweep both arms forward to come in line with your back heel, or approximately, right? Like, we're malleable organic material. Like we're not going to get a straight line like a ruler. So a line that feels towards straight. Like you can draw a line between your hands and your hands. Too many words. Great. <laughs> nice. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale here. Exhale, spin your right heel down to the mat, opening your arms up to reach forward and back, coming into a warrior two. Nice, in your warrior two, keeping a bend of that front knee, 
straighten that right leg, pressing into the pinky toe side edge and drawing that right knee up your thigh for some extra strength, extra engagement. So like it's squeezing the muscles by drawing your knee up. Could have said that on the first side, huh? Gaze out over your left fingertips as you let your shoulders draw away from your ear. My shoulders are having a hard time with that today. And once again, maybe you take some wiggles of your hips or maybe you just shift forward and back. Or maybe you've already found like a great spot to be still. From there, maybe you inch your left knee out to the left just a little bit more if it's caving in. Nice. And from your warrior two, as you're ready, spin your hands down to frame that front foot coming up off of your right heel. Step left foot back to meet your right. High plank, inhale. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, draw your chest forward to come up. Cobra, shoulder blades together on your back. Exhale, curl your toes under and shift your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Nice. From your downward facing dog, lower your knees down to the mat. Big toes come to touch, sitting your hips down and back. Coming into a child's pose, forehead down to the mat. This can always look like a polar bear. And then as you're ready, walking your hands up towards your legs. So coming to sit on your heels. Maybe you bring in blocks, pillows, things to lift your hips up. And maybe you roll your calves out to the side to come sit in between your legs. This is the great start to a flow. Um, there's so many places we can go from here, um, but this is just a little warm up uh, to really get moving. We'll end in a tall, comfortable seat here. If there is another way you'd like to end, or if you're already diving into the rest of your flow, um, that sounds great to me. Uh, and I'll lead us through just a closing here. So palms face down on your thighs for some more grounding or face up for some more opening, welcoming in of the energy around you. Eyes closed or gaze soft down the tip of your nose. And drawing your attention in on your breath. This is where I'll leave you. Feel free to stay wherever you are as long as your breath and your body are asking for it. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.